Hello and welcome to our first Stat Freaks episode of Quick Insights for Greyhound Racing. My name is David and today we're going to explore early speed statistics using our Stat Freaks Greyhound data. Let's dive straight into it. The variables we will be using during this analysis will be the ESR, which is the early speed rank of each Greyhound, the box that each Greyhound starts in, data quality races being of 100%, where we have data for each runner and the Greyhound number. So starting off, I'm primarily going to focus on the ESR rank, which is this data table here. Now we can see 19.6% of the time, anything in this model that we have ranked number one wins 19.6% of the time, and that's across uh, 2,613 selections. So we're going to apply the filter here in the ESR rank and I'm going to lock onto that setting. Now across all the models everything updates automatically and we can see now by track that Dapto, Ipswich and Richmond they're the top three tracks where the strike rate's fairly high when we predict something to be first out of the box. This column here is a uh, wind strike rate price. It's 100 divided by 30 to give us a dollar value. So DAPTO ESR rank 1 wins 30% of the time with our data. And converting that, it's roughly value of all the price is $3.30. So if you can get a greater price for that scenario, it's, it's worth exploring. As we scroll across to look at the box, starting box, we can see uh, the strike rates again fairly, fairly different across each box. Uh, with Greyhound Racing, box one is uh, fairly high, so looking at that, that's 29.5%. If we lock onto that that box, not saying that that is the best option when it comes to investing because the prices might be fairly short. For now, uh, that's displaying a fairly high value and and we're only considering sprint races so when we say sprint races it's pretty much distances 410 and below that's fairly uh, important because the strike rates do change uh, as the distance goes out a fair bit which we'll look at in further tutorials because I can see here that box one and for this exercise I might just actually lock onto uh, box box one so we've got best out of the the box ranked for us one and also sorry early speed ranked one best out of the box ranked uh, or box one now we can see that it's 29.5 percent of the time and we can actually explore the tracks for sprint races to see the impact now over the course of last year, this scenario where we've ranked something to, to be leading and then starting in box one with our data set. In sprint races, we can see there was 329 uh, selections that appeared with a strike rate of 29.5%, which translates to $3.40. Broken down further, the, the tracks which um, I would be considering are ones where at least there's some decent bet sizes. So Richmond, 33 wins 48.5% of the time. That's a $2.10 uh, conversion, so almost one in every two races uh, the, the Greyhound would win. What's quite interesting is, uh, so Cranbird and Shepparton, for example, that, that strike rate's quite low with those settings, so they're things to keep in mind. We can see that any emergencies starting with the number 9 or 10 have not won at all, so it's probably worth just locking them out as well, excluding them. And we can see now it's up to 30.1% of the time. So that's, uh, that's, that's one quick insight, which is looking at early speed rank one and box number one across sprint races for 2019. We can see uh, that it's a 30.1% strike rate uh, for, the, for the, the past year, uh, which is a good starting platform or model we can lock in and, and monitor uh, over the course of the next year. Now if you'd like to see this analysis with a, a deeper insight with profit and loss 
and return on investment, please subscribe to our Greyhound uh, monthly membership which will provide access to those tutorials and, and those kind of insights where we, we deep dive into a, a lot more detail uh, across where where the, the money is appearing and where it's not uh, across different tracks and it'll give you an indication of uh, where to start and, and some, some, some things to think about there. Thanks for listening and I hope you enjoyed today's episode.